Well, congratulations. How does it feel to be a, an official UFC fighter? I feel good. Did you imagine this moment being like this, or did you picture something different for when you became a, fight, a UFC fighter? I always imagine this moment, you know, like that's why I'm working. That's why I work every day, work hard with my team. Always I imagine this moment. That was my dream, you know. Yeah. How long have you been dreaming about this? Since I started MMA. When was that? When did you start MMA? Four years ago. Well, only four years. Yes, I have 22 years old, you know. So when you look at your career going forward, what's your next goal? What's your next step? Uh, my next step, my next step, you know, my next step, uh, my goal is to have the belt, you know. Yeah, that's my goal. Yeah. That's, my goal was on this fight. My goal is to have the belt. So where do you, what do you see uh, you having to do to get there? Do you see it coming in five years, ten years, one year? What's, your, what's the ultimate goal to get to, to that title? As soon as possible. And what's your uh, dream for your UFC debut? Do you have a location you'd like to fight at or a date or even an opponent? I'm going to fight any world they're going to give me to fight. Not fight, you know. I'm going to beat him, yeah. How do you see that debut going? I see that debut going good. Yeah. How soon do you want to get back in there? Sorry? How soon do you want to get back in there? As soon as, as possible, just to keep me busy. How often do you want to fight a year? Maybe five times a year. Really? Yes, I'm still young. I'm just doing MMA, nothing else. What did you think of this experience from the day you got here all the way through now? What did you think of just the way the UFC is run, the fight, the fans out there? What did you think? I love that. Did it go the way you thought it would in terms of what you had anticipated for the UFC to be like? I didn't anticipate anything. I just follow my coach. If he asks me to do, I'm just doing it. I trust him. Thank you. Just one quick one, other side. Um, who are some of the fighters you watched when you first were starting in MMA? One more time, please. Uh, which were were there fighters that you'd like to watch when you were first starting MMA four years ago? Uh, to be honest, when I started MMA, I, I didn't watch any fighters. You know, I used to fight in the street, so for me it was just fight, fight, no one. But after, you know, I well, first time when I went in UK, I see Lauren Murphy. First time when I saw him, I said, "Oh my God, I want to be like this guy." For me, he had high level, he was so good, so I want to be like him. Just follow up on that, you said you had a lot of street fights. Were those like fun set up street fights or were they, you were fighting because something was, you were defending yourself on the street? All of that. Which did you do more of? Everything. Thank you. Nato was just in here, and he mentioned how excited he is for Africa to continue to pump out talent the way they've been doing. You are now the second African fighter in a row for in contender series to get a contract. So how long do you think it'll take for Africa to become one of those powerhouse regions in MMA? Uh, to be honest, I, I, I can't give you like a date or something like that, but I think they are coming, you know, they are coming. And Dana wants to do a card in South Africa next year. I'm assuming that's one of your goals to be a part of that one day. So you one more time, please. Dana wants to do a card in South Africa next year. I'm sure you want to be a part of it. Of course, I want to be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you, too. I think you're good, man.